So today I'm going to be decluttering my blushes. I have like way too many um, and a lot of them are probably need binning because I've probably had them for years and years and years. Um, so let's just get straight into it. So at the front here I've got like a, this is actually a little plastic container. But it's actually from a Ferrer Rocher tray. That's what that is. <laughs> so I kind of had my more to like easily grab blushes in here and then kind of like whatever else is in that tub behind but I think I'm going to start with the tub behind because there's going to be quite a few in there that I need to bin. So first up we have this blusher from Clinique. This was back when I used to work um, on the makeup counters and I got given this as a gift or part of a leaving present or something like that um, but this will be well and truly out of date like that was back when I was doing my undergrad at uni and my degree and since then I have done a masters and worked in various different jobs and now I'm back at uni training to be a therapist so it's been a long time since I've had this so it's definitely just going to be going straight into the bin because it is well and truly expired. <laughs> so I have a couple of the Ted Baker ones, we'll start with these big ones first. So we have the kind of glittery bronzer and then the blusher. Um, I don't think, no, these don't have like names or anything. And then the other one is a trio, um, again with the different pinks and then obviously a highlighter shade. I'm going to keep these for now um, and maybe do like a shop my stash and try them out and see whether I want to keep them or not. But the thing is with the Ted Baker ones is um, you can only buy them at Christmas time. It's not like something that you can repeatedly buy. So it's a bit hard for me to recommend for you because obviously then you just can't buy it. Um, but I do really like it and obviously I spent my money on it so I'm going to keep them. One from Makeup Revolution. This is the baked, oh it's actually a highlighter this one. Um, this is the Bleeding Heart one, oh that's why. So it says it's a highlighter but actually I'd use that as a blusher. Um, I'm definitely going to keep that. I don't know if they still sell it but I'm going to keep it because I like it. Um, that is the um, I Heart, oh yeah I Heart Makeup from Makeup Revolution. This is a little hourglass one, which is actually a fake one that I got off eBay that um, I actually really like, but I'm going to bin just because obviously I don't know what ingredients are in there. Um, and it's meant to be a rip off version of the diffused heat lightning blush and lightning, lighting blush. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's going to go in the bin. Oh, the other Ted Baker one, this one just looks like this. Again, I'm going to keep this for now. Um, this is just a blush palette and see what it's like. Um, look out for some shop my stashes coming up. And we've got a Primark one. I absolutely love this Primark blusher. It is so good. Um, it's only a pound as well, so you literally like can't go wrong for the price. And so my focus is just not it's not working, is it? There we go. Um, so it just looks like this. And um, this is in the shade Drama. A oh, £1.50, sorry. <laughs> um, highly, highly recommend that. I did that in a test and pre-mark video and I loved it. I've got a couple of MAC ones which I just wouldn't bin for the price that I paid for them. Um, I think I've got some more in my other little bit as well. Um, so we actually have the shade Bird Pepper, which just looks like this. I don't think I've ever tried this as a blush, I'm not sure. Um, the reason I bought it is because P. Louise raves about it as a um, eyeshadow, but this was like back before P. Louise started bringing out her own cosmetics and stuff so I don't know if she still would use it. Um, and then the other one is the powder blush in the shade Royal Sunset which is a satin blush which just looks like this. Hopefully um, it'll be the right colour on my camera because it looks a little bit washed out there. Oh my god this one is an oldie but a goodie. So you'll remember this if you've watched me for years. This is the Rimmel 3D bronzer um, in the shun sun shimmer one in the shade 001 light. I've had this again for years. Like <laughs> probably maybe like seven years. Oh my god, it wouldn't really be that long. A long time. So that one's gonna go in the bin, even though it's well loved, um, it'll definitely be expired. I've got a Lancome blush in here. Um, which just looks like this. Oh god. Um, I'm definitely going to keep that one and see what it's like. I'm glad that I'm sorting this out because it's making me realise how many blushes I had that I haven't even like tried for so long. So keep that one. I've got a couple of these MAC ones from Avon. 
I feel like there might be another one, maybe. Can't see it at the moment. Um, and I actually don't mind some of these. These are this one's in the shade Blushing Berry, which just looks like this. And then we also have the shade. Oh, this one that is the one that's really, really light. This is Soft Peach, which is a very, 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 very light shade. I don't know that's going to focus. Why not? I'm going to keep them. Oh, I've got some Tarte blushes, which I also have in the other little compartment as well, um, that I'm definitely going to keep because I've, I've spent my money on them. Um, I've got this little P. Louise one, which um, is like a little blush that you got free with a purchase or something. Um, I don't, I, obviously, the, I don't think they do anything like this now. And um, this is the Glow For My Baby blusher. So I'm going to keep that for now. I've got my Pixie by Petra multi um Baby Petal, which I love, so I'm going to keep. I've got the NARS blusher in the shade Orgasm, which I'm going to sell. Because um, I've not used that, and I think I have it in here anyway, to be honest. We have some little sleek mini ones. Um, I remember when everyone used to have these. So this is in the shade Rose Gold, which is meant to be a dupe for the NARS Orgasm. So I'm going to keep that for a dupe video. And then you also have the Aqua Collection in Mirrored Pink, which just looks like this. I'm going to have to try that as a blush because I've never ever tried that. And I can't imagine that being the colour that would work well on my skin tone, but we shall see. Um, we've got the Soap and Glory Glow All Out Super Luminising Highlighting Powder. A little look at this. Oh yeah, it just looks like this. So it actually does look more so like a blush than it does a highlighting powder, which is why it's in this drawer. Um, again, it'll be one that I'll try out, but I reckon I'll probably end up bidding that one. Um, I'm going to keep all of my Benefit ones. All these little ones are the ones that um, my friend Laura got me for my birthday last year. No, my birthday the year before. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to think then. Um, so we have a little mini California, we have a Gold Rush, um, a mini Dandelion and a mini Rocketeur as well. Something in here that needs to be removed is this um, makeup cleaning spray. So yeah, that can go to one side to clean my brushes. We have a hour, an hourglass, no, we have an autograph blusher from Max and Spencer's. This is in the shade Berry. I remember I used to absolutely love this. I wonder if they still sell it. You can tell that it's been well and truly loved because the flower <laughs> indent is kind of, the pattern's kind of gone. This will be well and truly expired because I was it was back at uni that I loved this again. So I'm going to put this one in the bin because it will definitely be expired. <laughs> one that I'm definitely going to keep is the Milani Luminoso um, Baked Powder Blush. Oh my God, I can't open it. Which just looks like this. Just an absolute classic, isn't it? <laughs> Um, another little mini Lancome one, see what this one's like, although I think the other one was full size wasn't it, whoa that one's bright, that one's actually brand new so I think I might sell that on Depop for a couple of quid, um, just to earn some money back. We have a couple of the like Benny tints in Cha Cha Tint, so I have two minis, I'm definitely going to keep them. We have a Benefit Dandelion Dew. This is a soft baby pink radiance for our cheeks. This is brand new, so I'm actually going to sell this as well. Um, so I can buy some more makeup. I really want the um, Fenty cream blushes. They look really good. We have the... This is actually discontinued now. This is the Benefit um, Majorette, which was a um, like a cream, like a peachy cream blush. Okay, that smells like paint. It used to smell um really, really nice. And I don't know if you're able to see the texture of it. Um, but it's definitely expired. <laughs> so I can go on the bit. Ooh, we have this, which I remember buying like oh god, old school Lucy had like bought this. Um it's the Illamasca um and Androgen, androgen. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the cream pigment, so you could use it as a blusher. You could use it on your lips. It doesn't actually smell bad, you know. I thought it was gonna stink. I'm actually gonna. Is that kind of disgusting? But I'm actually gonna keep that because 
it's Illamasqua and I paid like quite a bit for it back in the day. Um, and I want to see what it's like. I'm really into creams recently ever since, ever since trying the um, Fenty cream bronzer. I'm just really liking cream products so I'm going to see what it's like. It doesn't smell so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Another one that I'm going to keep is this number 7 one which you'll have seen in my 2019 favourites video I believe. Um, this is in the shade Apricot Blossom. It's just one of their powder blushes which I again absolutely love. I feel like I'm more into blush now than what I ever have been. By the way, this is actually a new cup. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> and it says, just lying around on it. I actually got it as part of my quarantine secret centre that we did at work, which was so much fun. Um, so yeah, this is my, my cup, I love it. <laughs> so we also have a couple of cream products from MAC, which is by the Avon brand. Um, this is the sheer strawberry and the pink melon one. To see what they smell like, they still smell. All right, but it doesn't look very pigmented. Oh, actually, it's coming off a bit better now. And then this one is the pink melon shade. Whoa, that's bright. I think I'll keep them for now to try and, and have a little play about with, but I can't imagine me keeping them for too much longer. So we also have a ColourPop blusher. This one is in the shade Aphrodisiac. This is their Super Shock Cheek Matte Blusher. I really wish that they'd do it so ColourPop was more accessible, like, in the UK. I know, obviously, it's easier now because it includes all, like, the import tax and customs everything in the actual order when you're paying for it. So there's no, like, sneaky prices when you get to the UK, which is what it used to be like. But, yeah, it would be easier if you could just have this in the UK as well and not have to pay, like, extra. Um, I do think I want to do, like, a, a Colourpop order soon because I haven't ordered from them for ages. And I really want to try, like, their foundations and stuff. Um, this one is one that I've kept in its posh little pouch. This is a Galan blusher set. Just opens up like this. So it has the eyeshadows at the top. And then it has the blushes on the bottom. Um, I think I might look at selling that. Um, I'm not too sure. I feel like I don't want to part with it just because I think I, I, think I might keep it. <laughs> And then down the side, we have loads of Benefit ones. We have this one, which is another one that got discontinued. This is the Benefit One Hot Minute Blusher. Um, it's actually like a loose one. Okay, I'm not going to open that because I've just seen all of that coming out of the sides. So yeah, I'm just going to put that one straight in there because <laughs> it's leaked all over my drawer now. So we have Bella Bamba, again, another discontinued one, but I will not be... Um, been in this one because I love it and um, we have Rockatua, we have um, Havana, I think this one's been discontinued Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be wrong there. I'm sure this one got discontinued because I remember thinking why It's probably like my favourite one to reach for um, Another Rockatua, Rockatua, whatever you want to call it um, Sugar Bomb and then Coralista Okay, so going back to my little Ferrari Bushy tray <laughs> Rare or and um, this is the more ones that I would typically grab, or just ones that I've somehow ended up in this front tray. Um, so the first one is the Nas Orgasm um, blusher, but this one is in the cream one. I think I think I'm gonna keep this. I was gonna sell it because it is brand new, um, but I think I might actually keep it and try it. I think. I'll see how I feel. I'll put it in my keep pile for now. Um, we've also got this blusher um, trio from Sleek. This is the Blush by 3 palette um, in the Lace 367. Ooh, I can't open it. Um, I've been using this recently and it's weird because it looks like it'd be such a scary set of blush, but it is actually beautiful on the skin. I use a mixture of all three and just kind of dab all together and shove it on my cheeks. Amazing. Absolutely stunning, so that would not have gone anywhere. <laughs> um, a couple more of the MAC ones that I mentioned. So we have the Dolly Mix one, and we also have um, Melba, which I'm going to be keeping. And obviously, my Tarte ones I mentioned that I'm definitely going to be keeping as well. We have this one, which is, um, I don't know if they still do this any as well at Benefit. This is the Benefit Fine one one. This is like a trio, I don't know if it's going to come off, yeah, so it's meant to be like a 
two-toned kind of blush and then a highlight in the top it smells a bit funky and it doesn't look the best so that one's gonna go in the bin because that is really 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 old like eight years yeah I need to go in the bin <laughs> another cream blush that I'm really excited to try this is the Sophie Sophie's Paris um 30 um rose I'm just gonna say rose because I can't pronounce anything it just looks like this I've had a little play with it with my fingers but I haven't actually put it on my cheeks yet so I'm excited to see what that's like um I don't know if that one will stay in my collection for long because it's not a very easily accessible brand it's like a spa brand so it's I don't really know where you can buy it and um, we have this winky 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 yeah winky looks one I think this is a highlighter um yeah so I have to put that in my highlighter drawer not that one that one instead by the way this is my primer drawer oh you can't even see it I was gonna say if you could see that do you want me to do a video or deep clutter in it but you couldn't really see that much anyway so we also have um the bigger sizes of posy tint and lolly tint which I'm definitely gonna keep for now um actually do you know what I might need to smell these because I don't know if they'll be yeah I'm definitely gonna bin that one just just to smell the best and see what posy tint smells like yeah oh that one smells like eggs <laughs> so them two can go in the bin as well we have a blusher from wet and wild which to be honest with you so many people raved about this uh, it's called the apricot in the middle blush i don't think it's that good i think it's okay but i don't think it's what everyone kind of raved about um so i'll keep that one for now because i'm definitely going to do a i think i'll probably end up doing a wet and wild full face of, of wet and wild video or i'm going to do a well, i'm definitely going to do a cruelty free makeup tutorial so I know I can definitely use that one and um, one that I'm gonna keep this is the Miss Beauty London blusher which is from the pound shop and um, this is in the shade number four toffee I absolutely love this it doesn't look like it's gonna be much but on the cheeks it's just stunning and it's really nice if you've got quite a dramatic like dramatic eye or if you're just maybe not somebody who's into blusher all that much it's really really good and obviously a pound so you can't go wrong um this one is probably one that will definitely need been in this is the nyx summer peach blush which will be one that i've had again for years yeah it smells like chalk <laughs> so that one can go in the bin we have an elizabeth arden one which just looks like this this one's beautiful i got this in tk maxx for like 10 pound it's tk maxx yeah tk maxx um another one that i need to start using more often this one is one that I will never, ever, ever throw away. Um, this is actually one that was limited edition by Estee Lauder. And I remember all, like, Zoella, like, back in the day, everyone used to rave about it. And I couldn't find it anywhere because, obviously, it was limited edition. Um, and a colleague at work who worked on the YSL counter, she managed to... She was like, I've got it if you want it. Like, I'm not bothered about it. Um, and she gave me it. And I remember thinking, oh, my goodness, if I actually have it. So, yeah, I won't ever... I'll never ever bin that, I don't think. <laughs> and then last but not least is another kind of new one. I think I got this last year. No, not last year, the year before. Um, in the like January sales, I think it was. This is the Beauty Bakery Piece of Cake Blush Palette. I love this. I love mixing them together. I love all of them separately. It's just an amazing palette. I wish it was a bit smaller because like all this space like it's just not needed when like the three colors are like smack in the middle like it'd be a lot more travel friendly if it was a bit smaller but hey ho so i want to put this back together so that i don't have a big box but i'm not too sure how to organize it so let's just see see how i go <laughs> I've just thought with these two, I best smell these ones as well, with the bigger ones being. Yeah, that definitely needs spinning. So I'm going to bin the Benny tint and see what the cha cha tint's like. Oh my god, yeah, it smells like pain. Yeah, they both need binning. 
Actually, I'm going to bin this P. Louise one because it's one that I never ever reach for, but also it's um one that I couldn't ever use like in tutorials or anything because obviously you just can't buy it. So I'm just going to bin that one. So this is how I've rearranged it just so that I actually can see things a bit more easily. I don't know if you can see. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, so I can see things at a glance and be able to pick things out instead of it being in that big pink box that we had before and kind of my makeshift <laughs> Ferrero Rocher um, box. It shows how long I've had this because these Ferrero Rochers that were inside it would have went out of date on the 1st of the 7th, 2017. <laughs> um, or at least were made at that time, one of the two. So I much prefer how this looks compared to how it was before. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you don't know, by the way, I do upload on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. Every Friday I do a Foundation Friday where I put a foundation to the test. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of the clothes in the future. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>